Hey gang, so this is our unit one pre-test video. Grab your dry erase board marker and a rag and let's get going. Okay, on your dry erase board, you are gonna write this right here. Three parenthesis, two, three, or I'm sorry, parenthesis, three, blah, three parenthesis, x minus two, parenthesis, minus 10, equals two parenthesis, x plus one. All right, I'm gonna give you just a minute to start solving that. I'm gonna do a few things up here just to kind of remind you what to do. Hippity hoppity distributive property. And I'm gonna to have to do that on both sides. All right, once you get it on your board, hold it up so I can see it. I'm gonna start working over here a little bit. I'm gonna hippity hoppity, so I'm gonna get three X minus six minus 10. That negative 10 over there is just kind of along for the rod. Two X plus two. And I'm gonna wait right there, give you guys a few more seconds to solve that. Hold it up on your board. I'm gonna notice that negative six and negative 10 are on the same side of the equation. Okay, so I'm gonna take them and mush them together. So that's gonna give me three X minus 16 equals two X plus two. I'm going to move and make this my X side, my variable side, this will be my number side. So I'm gonna do two steps here in one. First, I'm gonna move this two X over. Okay, when I do that, this is gonna cancel and I'm gonna get a one X here. Now, because I'm running out of room, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change colors and I'm gonna add 16 on the same line. And I'm gonna add 16 on the right. These right here will cancel out and I'm gonna have equals 16 plus two is gonna be 18. So one X equals 18 or I would probably rather write it like this, x equals 18. All right, how many of you got it? Raise your hand, let's see how you did. All right, clear your boards, let's go to the next one. Negative parenthesis three minus x parenthesis plus 12 equals 10x. All right, I'm gonna draw my line. Give you just a minute, negative parenthesis three minus x parenthesis plus 12 equals 10 x. Okay, I'm gonna have to remember, and some of you guys may already be doing it as you write, that there is a one right here. And then I'm going to hippity hoppity distributive property right there. All right, negative one times three will give me negative three. And negative one times negative x, negative times a negative will give me a positive x. And then I just have that plus 12 kind of along for the ride equals 10x. Now on this one, you know, I've got that one lonely x over here on this side, and then I've got the other x over here. I think what I'm gonna do is make this my x side and this my number side. So this is a positive x. So I'm gonna do the opposite. I'm gonna subtract x from both sides. And I'm gonna remember there's a one right here in front of each one of them. So that's gonna be gone. And then I'm gonna have negative three plus 12. Hmm, those are numbers, I can put those together. 10 minus one is nine X. All right, I'm gonna put these together, negative three. Hold your board up if you get your answer. If you haven't already, hold it up, I wanna see it. Nine equals nine X. Divide both sides by nine. And x equals nine divided by nine is one. 
All right, how many of you got that? What questions do you have? I've worked a couple of these. What questions do you have for me now that we've done a couple of I'm going to put this one back here in case we needed to go back to that one. That was the one right before it. And what questions do you have on this one? All right, clear off your board. Here we go. On this one, you're just going to raise your hand. We'll have somebody in class answer this for me. What does the solution of this mean? So take a second, and you can write it on your board. 2x plus 1 equals 2x plus 1. Don't say the answer. Hold on. Let everybody think. All right. I'm going to leave it to Mrs. Dean. Ha, huh, that's me. I'm going to let myself answer it. Go. All right, next one. Here we go. We got an inequality. Negative 5x minus parenthesis. Negative 7 minus 4x parenthesis. Greater than or equal to negative 2 parenthesis 3x minus 4. All right, we are going to solve this one. I'm going to give you about 30 seconds to work on this one before I say anything. Go. All right, I'm going to go ahead and start working just a little bit. I'm going to remember there, there's a 1 right here. And I'm going to hippity-hoppity distributive property right there. So, negative 5x, negative 1 times negative 7 is going to be positive 7, and negative 1 times negative 4 is going to be positive 4x, greater than or equal to negative 2 times 3 and negative 2 times negative 4. Negative 6x plus 8. All right. Now I'm going to notice here on the left, I've got an x here and an x here. So they're on the same side. So I'm going to mush those together. That's going to give me negative 1x plus 7 greater than or equal to negative 6x plus 8. I'm going to make this my x side, this my number side. So I think I'm going to move this 7 over here. Negative 1x greater than or equal to negative 6x plus 1. I'm going to add 6x to both sides. So that's going to be 5x greater than or equal to, those cancel out, and I'm going to have 1. Is it okay to get a fraction? Absolutely. You know what, I should have said it earlier, but if you got the answer, hold up your board so I can see it. x is greater than or equal to 1 fifth. Now, I do need to graph this, so I'm going to draw my number line. I'm going to put a 0. I'll put... I'll just put one fifth right here. It's a positive and a negative one fifth. I'm not going to worry about marking it. This equal to means that I'm going to have a colored in or an open circle. I don't even know if y'all can see that. Maybe too low on my board. It's going to be a closed circle. So I'm going to close it in at one fifth. It points to the right. So I'm going to shade to the right. And there we go. All right, what questions do you have on this one? Raise your hand. All right, erase your boards. Here we go. On this one, we're going to describe in words what does this mean? What does that mean in words? Think about it. Okay, who can tell me? Raise your hand. Oops. 
I was trying to write it. Okay, this would mean, if I were to graph this, and I were to put zero, negative two, and two, this says that x is, it starts at negative two, right? And it goes this direction. How do I describe that? Well, hopefully somebody already said it, or I may have already said it myself. But it's every single number on this line, dot, decimal, fraction, every single number that's bigger than negative two. The way we say that is all real numbers, all real numbers greater than And then I need to finish it out and say, or equal to negative two. This is greater than or equal to. All right, guys, I think that is about it. Yep, remember when you divide, when you do an inequality, if you divide or multiply by a negative, you flip the sign. I'm just gonna give you another quick one. I normally keep these around 15 minutes and I'm way under that. If I have negative three X, greater than 18, and I go to divide by negative three to finish this out, I need to remember that I have to flip that inequality when I finish it, x, negative six, and then I'm gonna flip that inequality because I divide it by negative. Remember we talked about on the number line, when you have those values and you divide or you divide or multiply by a negative, Remember, they swap places, and so you that's why we have to flip the sign. All right, guys, good luck on your test, and you guys have a great day. Thanks for watching.